Hey everyone, this is Dalton at Dalton and STFs, and today we're taking a look at the fourth member of the Transformers subscription service 4.0. I'm pretty sure we can all tell who it is just by the shape of the size of this box. Let's go ahead and open it up, and well, also all the other reviews and photos that were shown recently. So, oh well, let's go ahead and get his bio card out of here. So here we have Windsweeper. Get his HFG, his gun, and the Matrix. We'll get into that later. So let's get this out of here. So here we have Windsweeper in jet mode. He looks great. Um, the only problem I have so far as far as paint and QC is just this little teeny tiny nick right here. It actually looks like there was a little bit of a uh, paint bleed. So, you know, that's not going to throw it off too much for me. It's mostly going to be as a leg or as a robot. So, not too big of a problem. There are a few little loose joints. I will go over that here later. Here we've got the instruction booklet. So, if you want to, or not the instruction booklet, the um, bio card if you want to read that. Actually, let's zoom in here. So there's that, technical data. Very nice artwork yet again. So there is that. So let's go ahead and bring in his weapon. We got his heat seeking missile launcher here. And according to his bio. And his double barrel or yeah, his B1B double barrel laser cannon according to the bio card. Well, I can't even get words out today. And here we have the Matrix of Malice. Now, this is the same mold that they've used for MP10, and it is still diecast. Uh, very nice gold paint throughout, gold chrome throughout it, or paint. Very nicely done. It's also got some green paint here on the sides and the green gem. And, you know, just as you'd expect, it fits inside Prime's chest, like you've seen in the intro. So, might have to get a little bit of a chain or something to hold that around Thunder Mayhem's neck or get the deluxe, you know, Thunderwing and hang it on his neck too. So, there is that. And for Windsweeper, again, really nicely painted. Uh, kind of this rust, kind of clay red. Uh, I don't know how to exactly describe it. You also got this kind of tan color. It's kind of a purplish tan. It's it's hard to describe really. Uh, you got some nice purple paint and red paint throughout here. Some silver kind of homaging that trigger mask or trigger con look. With that nice bright silver. A little bit black here. You got a different shade of red right here painted onto the fin along with that purple I mean not nearly as much paint as the other guys but he still looks great so let's go ahead and get this guy transformed it is the same transformation as skydive and cicada gun and for the most part the same as air raid so if you want to see a review on that going over everything you can check out the card that's popping up on screen along with my review of CicadaCon if you want to check that out and there we have Windsweeper. I'm not going to fold the wings back I think he looks better with the wings flared out just makes him a little bit more imposing for a deluxe uh, go ahead and put his gun in his hand And he looks really good. Uh, like I said, not a whole lot of paint, not nearly as much, but you do have some of that tan coming again through here. It's actually more of a beige color, kind of a. It, it's really hard to describe what kind of color this is, but you get some more of that purple here, and you actually get the introduction of some green here on the chest, along with more of that nice shiny silver. You've got the Decepticon badge right there. 
and here on the face it is kind of that rustic color but with the paint it's coming up more orange you get those gold yellow eyes just basically the same color you got here on the cockpit now the problem I have with mine and from the couple of others that others that I've seen is the detents on the elbows don't really hold so just a little bit of nail polish or clear for polish will clear that right up do not use super glue that will damage the plastic uh, but yeah clear nail polish or uh, you know that pledge floor care or whatever it's called so um, as far as the other joints they're not too bad I might put a little bit on the knees just to tighten them up some more but other than that he's really great. Um, I wasn't expecting to like him as much as I am right now. Uh, mostly because the photos of him just they, they weren't doing it for me but now having him in hand he does look really cool and I cannot wait to get bludgeoned. We are just so close to forming Thunder Mayhem within the next week or two maybe three we'll have bludgeon. I'm hoping. I just I'm really stoked, really liking this. So let's go ahead and bring in some of his other Mayhem Attack Squad members. Let's go ahead and bring in the first, that being Needle Nose. Let's set him up over here since these guys form the right side of Thunder Mayhem. Let's go ahead and bring Grabuge or Ruckus. Yes, I got his name right, finally. And here is Spinister. Actually, there we go. Since the Target Masters are going to be forming the arms of Thunder Mayhem. So there we go, the four out of the five so far, and I love these colors. I just, it's very G2, very Euro G1, which is amazing. Kind of Marvel comics as well, which is kind of what these guys are based on the Marvel and Dreamwave comics, I believe. Mostly the Marvel comics, and then. You got your Matrix of Malice. So that pretty much does it for this review. Just kind of a short one. Wanted to go over this. Uh, thankfully I don't have a whole bunch of other comparisons to do. Or that I want to do. And there is nothing really else to go over. You um, also get some more of that silver here. So just thought I'd point that out. And that, like I said, really great looking figure. He, you know, I, I don't know much more about him and according to his bio he was formerly an Autobot so just the fact that he's so he just wants to get every, anyone out of the sky no one around him uh, but he also wants to hear the same voices that Bludgeon wants to hear or that Bludgeon hears so kind of interesting how that's going to work going to kind of excited to see what happens in the next couple of issues of the club comic which we'll be getting that next month so you know, at the time of this recording, it is only July 2nd after all. So, hope you guys have a good one, and, well, hopefully, well, at the time of this recording, have a happy 4th of July. If I don't get this up before the 4th of July, hope you guys had a good and safe one. So, see you guys in the next video. Like I said, check out the review of Skydive along with the other guys. You can check those out in the annotate, or the cards that were popping up or down in the description along with my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. If you want to follow those, check out some more pictures of these and my Instagram photos, go check those out. Other than that, hope you guys had a good one. See you next time.